a battleship in the sea hides a ghost town. From bustling metropolis to eerie silence, explore the rise and fall of Hashima Island, Japan's most densely populated and now abandoned isle. From a distance, it looks like a battleship in the sea, but in reality, it's a small city that has completely turned into ruins today. At one time, more than 5,000 people used to live on this small island, and it was called not only Japan's, but the world's most densely populated city. There were apartments here, the concrete of which has now decayed. The belongings of the people still exist in them. It seems that perhaps everyone who lived here has fled from here. There were schools where children's voices echoed, hospitals, town hall, swimming pools, shops, and cinema, all the facilities that should be in a city were here. But today, the entire island presents the appearance of a deserted ghost town. What happened here that Japan prevented tourists from visiting this island for 15 years? The island is called Hashima, located 15 kilometers away from the city of Nagasaki in Japan, in the South China Sea. Because the shape of this island resembles a battleship, it is also known as Battleship Island. In this part of the sea, there are approximately 500 islands with no population, but Hashima's story is different. While other islands are lush and green, Hashima Island is a stark rock rising from the sea, almost devoid of any vegetation. Hashima Island played a significant role in boosting Japan's economy, and its most notable feature was coal mining. In the last hundred years, Around 60 lake tons of coal were extracted from the seabed near the island. The amount of coal extracted could produce electricity for the entire India for a month or for Pakistan for 10 months. In the 1800, people living on Hashima Island discovered scattered coal on the ground. The people of Hashima Island began collecting the scattered coal on the ground to keep their homes warm. By the year 1850, Nagasaki had become an international shipping port. It served as a stopover for international cargo sailing ships traveling between America and China. Western countries such as Great Britain and the USA were replacing their sailing ships with steam engines, which required coal as their primary fuel source. When those ships arrived at Nagasaki port, they required coal for refueling and this coal was scattered on the distant Hashima Island, the demand for coal increased. The island residents began extracting it from the ground to sell. Hashima stood out as a unique island with more coal. As the demand for coal grew, the use of hands alone was insufficient. In the 19th century, Mitsubishi acquired Hashima Island to fulfill the increasing coal demands. Mitsubishi, a shipping company, decided to initiate proper coal mining on Hashima Island. Mitsubishi built homes here for workers and transformed the entire island into a maritime wave protection wall. This is why today, this island looks like the shape of a ship. In 1916, who extracted 100 tons of coal from the ground each year. Due to its small size, there was limited space to live here. Mitsubishi built a concrete residential complex here so that more workers could live with their families. At that time, it was Japan's most concrete building. It was still small for the workers to live in. The number of workers on Hashima Island increased, and Mitsubishi continued to build new complexes here. Along with this, schools and entertainment centers for the children of the workers were also established. In 1941, the annual coal production on Hashima Island reached up to 410,000 tons, which was increasing day by day. In 1959, the total population of the island was 5,000. Such a dense population has not been found in any country in the world. According to the workers who lived there, they say that three workers shared one room. Hashima Island was created by digging one kilometer below the surface, where the temperature was 35 degrees Celsius and the humidity was 95%. Working in these harsh conditions was not free from danger for the workers. During the work in Hashima Island's coal mine, several workers lost their lives. After World War II, when the Japanese Empire was dismantled, Japan made efforts to improve its image. 
For this purpose, on Hashima Island, many facilities were built for the workers, such as cinemas, gymnasiums, high schools. All these facilities on the island were completely free for the workers. In return, the workers had to contribute to the maintenance of the island. Fresh water for drinking was brought from mainland Japan to the island. Later, underwater water lines were laid, connecting to mainland Japan. During the 1960s, Hashima Island was at its peak, and it was contributing to the Japanese economy. This was the time when the decline of coal engines began worldwide. Coal was becoming detrimental to the environment, and oil started replacing coal. As a result, the demand for coal decreased in the international market. Mining on Hashima Island was already challenging because it was disconnected from the mainland, and frequent tsunamis and sea typhoons often occurred in the South China Sea. Mitsubishi had constructed protective walls for the island, but these walls often broke due to the impact of typhoons, resulting in additional repair costs. And then finally on the 15th of January 1974, the company officially closed the Hashima coal mine. In the history of Hashima Island, an entire generation of people lived here, but all those memories are now confined to this place today. Hashima Island presents a forgotten glimpse of an island in the South China Sea. For many years, the Japanese government had kept this island sealed, and violating it resulted in severe penalties. Many people said that Japan wanted to hide the true reality of forced labor camps here from the world. But Japan claimed that these rules were created to prevent theft on the island. Hashima was rediscovered in the 21st century, taking on the appearance of a famous ghost town. Especially for those who were enthusiasts of ghost towns or abandoned places. It became famous in the shape of a ghost town. In 2005, Japan officially opened Hashima Island for tourists. Officials attempted several times to repair the buildings here, but due to their reinforced concrete being corroded and the harsh weather conditions, several buildings have collapsed here and near the second have fallen, and repairs have only a small portion been done. The location of this ghost town also attracts filmmakers. In 2009, the Life After People TV series was shot here, in the same year, Japan requested to include Hashima Island in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list. However, South Korea, North Korea, and the Chinese government opposed it, arguing that it is a scar with the exploitation of laborers who were brought here for forced labor. A compromise was reached on the condition that Japan would recognize the exploitation of workers and that the labor history of the heritage sites would be acknowledged. I hope you enjoyed this journey to Hashima Island. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, and hit that subscribe button to join me on future adventures. I'm always on the lookout for new and fascinating stories to share, so let me know in the comments where you'd like to explore next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next amazing video.